12 News at Noon continues now and uh, we're looking live outside right now. It's kind of a calm day in New yeah. Bedford. The calm after the storm, but a lot of people are cleaning up today. Those rivers overflowed, uh, yeah. causing a lot of flooding problems. The river is still kind of, you know, on the higher side. They mm -hmm. are diminishing in terms of the uh, water height, of course, so some good news there. Yeah. However, we have more rain on the way late uh, Friday into Saturday, which is only going to make those uh, river issues a little bit worse as we go into the weekend. So here's a look at the updated flood warnings. A lot of them still in place. So the Pawcatuck, the Wood River, the Patuxet, uh, the Blackstone, the Taunton Rivers, all those red shaded boxes are what we have uh, still going for those uh, water levels on the high side. They are go, uh, they are though dropping through the day today and into tomorrow. So some good news there uh, looking at the improvements along the rivers. Now outside we have a blend of sun and clouds or dry and uh, we will be staying dry and quiet for today and actually into our Friday as well. So here's the radar. The wide view shows things are OK around our region. Three key things. Those river levels are dropping. So some good news there. Another rain and wind system coming our way later tomorrow night and into Saturday. Now the rainfall totals don't look to be as high as this past storm, but any any rainfall we, that we get is going to be making uh, things a little bit worse. So uh, that's our next system. And however, our next system beyond that may actually feature some snow for early next week. We'll see that in my seven day forecast. So here's what we're looking at a flood watch across the entire region, except the uh, Cape and islands. You can see one to two inches of rain expected with our next system. Also looking at some gusty winds once again, a coastal flood uh, watch actually issued as well across coastal regions for that morning high tide cycle for Saturday morning. And here is that high wind watch that's been issued across southern areas and south and east, really favoring again uh, gusts to about 50 to 60 miles per hour uh, from our next system. So here's a breakdown of what we're tracking for that system for later Friday night into Saturday. Again, one to two inches of rain still watching the street and uh, river flooding possible once again. Uh, poor drainage areas are again at risk as well. The winds, southeast winds, about you know, 50 to 60 mile per hour gusts, certainly possible, favoring those south and eastern areas. And then again, that coastal flood threat for that morning high tide cycle on Saturday. So here's the wide view of things across the entire country. Again, northeast New England, we're looking at just some blend of sun and clouds. We're generally quiet for today and for our Friday. Our storm system, though, is getting its act together across the western part of the country, and this will be making its way eventually towards us. Again, it'll arrive later Friday and into Saturday. So let's get nice and close to us. Quiet weather through the rest of today. Here's 5 p.m. You know, looking at generally clearing skies this evening. Chilly temperatures overnight tonight into Friday, but notice there's no precip on here. Looking at dry conditions for our Friday as well as we go into the afternoon. No weather concerns expected. So any you know travel plans from now until about Friday evening, things are looking okay. Notice though, overnight Friday into Saturday, here comes the rain once again. We're thinking the rain arrives around midnight or so, and it could be heavy at times again overnight into Saturday. Notice all those oranges and reds making their way through. Here's you know pre-dawn hour Saturday. Some hefty rain, some thunder possible, some gusty winds as well. Tracking through with this storm system uh, looks to be again temperatures on the warm side. So this is a rain and wind event for us. But look how quick it clears out here Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Looking at the back edge of the shower activity, the cloud cover already pushing north and east away from us. So some good news is this will really not impact our weekend all that much. But behind this system, some much colder air is on the way for the second half of the weekend and especially into next week. So uh, looking at, again, uh, a little bit of a half and half battle here between uh, the uh, warmth that will be with the system, but then the cold air on the backside as it tracks on through. So for this afternoon, looking at temperatures in the 40s, generally looking at dry conditions. Again, sunshine, some clouds, really no uh, weather concerns expected for this afternoon or even into tonight. Temperatures near 30 degrees will be below freezing across much of the area. Cold and dry right into tomorrow, though, we're looking at dry conditions continuing for our Friday, looking at some sunshine, late day clouds, and again, that rain and wind arriving later at night. I'm thinking about midnight or so into Saturday morning is when we'll really be seeing uh, the rain and wind make its way through. So here's that seven day forecast for you. It features a lot because there's a lot to talk about. We have that rain and wind uh, storm on the way for later Friday into Saturday. Notice those temperatures in the 50s. That's because that warmer air will be pushing in with that wet weather. And then as we go into Sunday, look at the temperature drop 37 for a high temperature, much colder and drier. And as we go into the middle part of next week, yes, that is snow on the screen. We are looking at our potential next system for next week bringing us more in the way of cold and snow. So although that's still several days away, we'll of course be tracking that over the next several days across our area. So and that is our seven day forecast and we'll be taking a break. We'll be right back in a little bit.